In this video, I will show you how to use interrupt. An interrupt allows you to jump out, do something else and then come back. Uh, let me show you one example. I will have two LEDs. One LED will blink one second on, one second off forever. And the other LED is waiting for a button to be pressed. And as soon as I press the button, the LED should turn on. That's it. Let's see how this looks. So I will use my onboard LED on pin 13 and let it blink. So that's digital right pin 13 high delay for 1000 and then digital right 13 low and delay. If we upload this it looks like this. It is blinking. Perfect. But now I would like to have a second LED As soon as I press this button, this LED should turn on. So let's connect the button to ground and the other side of the button to pin 2. The cathode of the LED will be connected to ground. The resistor, which is connected to the anode, will be connected to pin 7. Pin mode 7 is our second LED. If digital read 2 equals low, then digital write 7 high. Well, right now this would be low already because we need one last thing. We need a pull up resistor on this line. So Pin mode 2 should be input pull up. We have our onboard LED as output. This LED also as output. Input pull up on the button. Turn on, wait, turn off, wait. And then it checks if the button is pressed and then it turns on the LED. As you can see, it blinks. So if I press the button at any point, it. Ah, now I got it. <laughs> yeah. Let's reset the program. So if I just press the button, nothing happens. <laughs> I need to keep it pressed and at the right time it will turn on. But I want it to turn on instantly. So if I press this button at any moment in the program, it should turn on the LED instantly. This doesn't work like this because we have these delays right here and it is only reading the button after the delays. So let's use an interrupt. I will create a new function, void button ISR. ISR stands for interrupt service routine. You don't have to call it that way, but it would be nice if you do it. Inside of button ISR, I will digital write pin seven high. And this function will be called as soon as I press the button. And this works like this. We attach interrupt. And now we need to say which pin. And, and there we need another function that is called digital pin to interrupt. And our digital pin is pin two. And you have to be careful because Arduino Uno only allows this external interrupts on pin two or pin three. So these are your only options on Arduino Uno. If we have an interrupt on this pin, what needs to happen? Run the button interrupt service routine as soon as this pin generates an interrupt. And then one last thing, when should it be triggered? On falling edge or on rising edge? As soon as we press the button, the voltage will go down. So the falling edge is what we are looking for. And it blinks. And as soon as I press the button, it immediately turns on the LED. Let me do that again, reset. It turns on the LED instantly. That's 
how an interrupt works. Okay, now one last thing that we could do in this example is as soon as the ISR is called and we digital write pin seven high, we don't need the interrupt anymore because every time we push the button, it will just turn on the LED, but we don't want to turn on the LED anymore. So we can detach interrupt digital pin to interrupt detach the interrupt to and this way you will see no difference here but the interrupt will be called once and then there will be no interrupt triggered by pushing the button anymore so here comes your exercise i would like to have this blinking led and now i would like to have two buttons and two leds it's a game so there are two players and every player tries to push the button first and whoever presses the button first will turn on the corresponding LED. And then of course the other LED will be locked so you will only see the winner LED. I will make use of this connection right here because all of these dots are connected. And we will have this red button exactly as we have it right now. This will be connected to ground. This will be connected to ground. And then we have the green LED. And the flat side right here is connected to ground. One hundred and fifty ohms. And the green button. And the green button will also be connected to ground on one side. The green button will be connected to pin 3 because pin 3 is the second pin that can trigger an interrupt. And I will use pin 8 for the LED. Let's add the second LED, which is pin 8. Let's add the second button input on pin 3. I will have button red ISR and button green ISR. This is button red and I will copy and have button green ISR. And our green button is on pin 8. We now have two interrupts so we detach both interrupts 2 and 3. Let's upload and you can see it blinks. If I press the red button, boom, the red LED turns on. And if I press the green button, the green LED turns on. And now let's see which finger is faster. Boom, the red finger was faster because as you can see, I can't turn on the red LED. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. Leave a comment down below if you have any question or different solution to the exercise. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.